Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make a jalapeno popper grilled cheese sandwich. Let's get it. Welcome back, Towners. To start off this recipe here, we have our uh, bread here. We went back to Aldi's. This time we were able to find the Loving Fresh uh, Keto Friendly White Bread. You can see it has 11 grams of carbs and 11 grams of fiber, which basically equate down to zero net carbs, which makes it available for a keto. Um, if you're doing strict keto, you may not most likely wouldn't do this bread because it has the wheat in it. But if you're doing lazy or dirty keto, um, then you'll want to try it out. But hey, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Um, we went ahead and pulled out one of our homies and we had some large jalapenos here and went ahead and chopped that whole thing up, added that to the pan. And then we also added in some diced onions to that. Uh, these onions were frozen. Uh, if you have fresh onions, you can definitely go ahead and use that. We're just using what we have here. Um, went ahead and heated the pan up over about a medium, uh, medium high heat, and just started to cook these down and let them sweat down. We didn't add any butter or any oil to the pan. Uh, just let this cook um, in saute with the natural uh, juices that came from that and a little bit more juice came out of these because they were frozen. I went ahead and hit these up with some kosher salt, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. Um, didn't add, add any onion powder because of the onions that we added to that, but if you were didn't have any onions, you can definitely just add the onion powder there. We then went ahead and put down about about a, a half a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon or three quarters of a tablespoon of cream cheese. Uh, this was straight out of the refrigerator, didn't melt it or anything. If you have softened cream cheese, that may help with the beginning process of helping to melt and get everything to stick together. But once that pan heats up, everything will start sticking and, and mixing together. We also added in some cheddar cheese to that and then placed down uh, two pieces of bread on the um, into our top pan over low heat. Just basically wanting the bread to start the process of heating up so that way everything will start to melt and be able to stick together once we put the sandwich together. Uh, took the uh, cheese mixture off of the heat, put down a pat of butter, and flipped the bread over to heat the other side, and put down some a little small layer of cheese, and then put down our jalapeno popper cheese mixture over top of our uh, sandwich to start building our grilled cheese. Let that go for about a minute or so for the cheese to melt up on the bottom layer, and that way to help get everything to stick together. Then went ahead and flipped it over to cook the other half. I noticed the pan started to get a bit hot there, some smoke started to come out of that, so I had to go ahead and turn that heat down back to low. I accidentally turned it up, but turned it back down to low, let that cook for a bit, but in doing so, that let us get a nice, good brown crust on the uh, bottom half of that. I know some people use uh, mayonnaise. Um, I've tried that, uh, but I like, I like the taste of butter, but when you do it with the mayonnaise, you don't really get any flavor out of it, uh, but you do get a nice crisp on it. But Doing, using butter to uh, toast the bread up, you get a nice, nice uh, crisp on it, and you also get some good flavor from that butter. Uh, we went ahead and uh, took our sandwich out of the pan once it was done and placed it onto our cutting board and pulled out uh, our knife and went ahead and sliced this in half. You guys can see the insides of it. Um, just trying to hold it down a bit so that none of the, the bread didn't just go crazy when the cheese started to melt and slide off of the sandwich. Um, opened it up, and here is the inside of our sandwich. Nice ooey gooey cheesy cream cheese mixture and those jalapenos are just popping everywhere um here's a close-up of uh, how our sandwich looked and then we went ahead and just went in for a taste test for you guys all right guys here's our taste test uh, let's see i know this is gonna be good It's good. It's good. <laughs> the uh, grilled cheese came out great. Yeah, jalapeno, great spice. You know, I love that spice. Fresh jalapenos on that. You can use pickled if you like, or you don't have to use jalapenos at all if you just want the taste. But um, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper, some garlic powder, came out great. I really like this. Uh, all these bread also there's all these uh white bread it's um different from the multi-grain and the wheat bread it's a bit softer it's not as hard um the 
fresh out the bag, the other bread is a little bit harder. Uh, but this all these wheat bread, white bread is a bit softer, sort of like the buns that we tried out. But um, man, this is this is good. I like this. <laughs> Jalapeno popper, grilled cheese sandwich. Try it out, guys. All right, guys, and that was our taste test. Uh, this sandwich came out great. I, you know, I really do like the uh, white bread from all these. It's just softer and gives a better sandwich feel to your sandwich that you're having. Uh, but if you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to hit us up in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.